Greetings, Pokéfans! Michael here, and welcome to the 24th episode of my Pokémon Moon Wonderlock. Before I get into the episode, a couple things I need to talk about first. Um, excuse me. This week, I am starting back at school, the beginning of my final semester in college, and because of that, I will be returning to the Let's Play schedule that I had before Sun and Moon came out, which was three a week. Um, it's shaping up to be a busy semester. I don't want to push myself too hard. Um, and so it's going to return to three Let's Plays a week. Saturday videos will stay the same. However, it, while it was Monday, Wednesday, Friday, this semester, I'm going to make it Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, simply because I noticed that Sunday Let's Plays tend to get more views than Monday ones. So that is what I'm going to do. So this is the beginning of that schedule. So You'll have the episode today, and then there won't be another episode until Wednesday. So I'm sorry that they'll be less frequent, but school is much busier than Christmas break is. <laughs> um, the other thing is, this one isn't as relevant, but just as a fun fact, this is the last Let's Play I will probably ever record in this house, because after I graduate, I'm not planning to move back in with my parents. My current plan is to move in with my girlfriend, Jubilee. So... Yeah, that's a pretty exciting thing. I'm already back at Rice when you are watching this. Um, but this is the last Let's Play to ever occur in this household. So that's a fun fact for you. But anyways, now back to the episode. Last episode, we unfortunately lost Alakazam, had our second death of the series. It was a double battle against a Drowsy and a Haunter. I decided to knock out Drowsy first with Alakazam because Alakazam had a super effective move against both of the opponents. Primarina only had a super effective move against Haunter. I was expecting Primarina to outspeed Haunter, and she did not. Um, simply because of the level difference, and I didn't know Haunter was that fast. So, unfortunately we lost Alakazam, but not a huge deal, because we did... I did decide to replace him with Fletchender, and I was considering replacing him already. So, Fletchender has taken his place. Fletchender is obviously still trying to catch up to the rest of the team. I did turn Experience Share back on because of that. After this episode, um, if Fletchender is not caught up, which I don't think he will be, if Fletchender is not caught up to the rest of the team, I am going to catch him up off camera without using the Experience Share for the rest of the members of the team. Um, so, like, I might even use, like, Alakazam, you know, f simply for the grinding, uh, just so the rest of my team doesn't get too overleveled. So, I will do some grinding off-camera, but I'm kind of running short on time today, so I opted not to do any grinding before that. Justin left today uh, to go back to Baylor, so I was helping him with that, <laughs> helping him pack up and stuff. Also, I went to the dentist. No cavities, as always, because I never have cavities. I think the last cavity I had was when I was, I was six. I take very good care of my teeth. I was in braces for four years. You can bet I am going to take care of my freaking teeth. <laughs> All right, Marini, we can handle this. I don't know Leaf Blade yet. That's a bummer. Also, thank you to those of you who informed me that uh, I will get... Primarina will get... What? Oh, I'm blanking so hard right now. Primarina will get... This should be fine. Yeah, neutral damage. Primarina gets Moonblast at 44. We'll finish it off with the Razor Leaf. I actually think I want to... I might want to run to the Pokemon Center. I'm not sure. Woo! Alrighty, well, let's look at the team. I probably will definitely do so before the Guzma battle, but maybe not yet. Everybody looks okay. I don't know what my PP is looking at, though. Oh, I forgot to look what Guzma has on his team. <laughs> One dude sleeping across two beds. You can't even talk to him, that's kind of funny. They're not letting you be rude to wake somebody up. I was gonna look up, I forgot to look up before I started recording. Guzma's team. Guzma Pokemon. Just to like see what else he has other than the Galissapod. Beat up. Okay. 
I know there are three things, but I couldn't really remember what they were, so I need to double check that. And then I know one of them is Tapu Koko, and I'm supposed to say no. All right, let's look. All right, okay, the second battle is still just Golosapod and Ariados. Okay. Who do I want to use for Ariados? Because... I think we're fine. Uh-oh. Why is Haunter so fast? Alright, I have to remember that. Haunter is really freaking fast. Even if you're six levels above, it will probably still outspeed you. If you're using a starter. Nope. I like the set damage of Crunch. Hmm. Who do you want to use for Ariados? Thrash? No. I mean, Fletchender would make the most sense, but Fletchender is level 26. So... There's no way I'm risking it dying after, like, just having it. <laughs> Still don't know what the- there are a lot of Z-moves that I don't actually know the animations for. Um, just because I have never used them. Like, the, the first time I saw the Steel-type Z-move was when I used it against the, uh... Yep, Tapu Koko. I remembered that one. I don't remember what the last one is, though. Might just be what his Pokemon is. His favorite Pokemon is Galissapod. Yep, okay, that that's a dead end. Is it? Yeah, it is. Such, like, super ominous music. I feel like it shouldn't be this ominous. Oh, nice! Can anybody learn that? Probably not. Oh, Crocodile can learn it. But it's not useful because it's a special move, unfortunately. I'm annoyed that Crocodile can learn Sludge Bomb, but not Poison Jab. What's with that? Makes no sense. Oh no, and I have to sit through this entire scene again. It's an amusing one, but like most of you have probably already seen it. Our names are all grunt, that kind of thing. Hello, chicas. More training for Fletchender, not a big deal. I was actually able to click through that pretty quickly. I think their position is so funny. Look at my wrists. Ra ta ta ta. Another dark type. Why does everybody and their dog have a dark type? Not risking it. All right. Haha. Come on! Much excite. Oh, you know what I just remembered? I still haven't got- I can go to the desert now. I should totally go to the desert and get a capture there. And the Psychonium Z. I think that's the one that I can find there. Battle both of these chicks. Ugh. All right, let's knock out your poke. Please be one decision where I can just not. Gosh dang it! Who nanners? All right, well, let's put in beware once more. Also. A couple of you guys last episode were commenting, like, why are you using Talonflame instead of Litten, so I could have all three starters. I already have a Dark-type in Crocodile, 
Talonflame makes way more sense. <laughs> oh, what? It's lame. Hooray! Alright, Fletchender. That is... no. I think it evolves at like level 32? 33? I think it's early 30s. It's either 32 or 33. So that might happen this weekend. This... this weekend. This episode. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep Decidueye in front. I'll fight you! Ah, let's see what he's got. Ah, finally a Pokemon I can just easily one-shot with Decidueye right off the bat. Acrobatics. Alright. There we go, yes! Yes! Squeeze it. Alrighty. Oh, that's the last note. Go run away here. Galispod, yep. What are they saying? Dagda! Like, what is... What is he saying? Maybe it's a Japanese word and they didn't bother changing it for the English. Who knows? Hmm. Guys do this, girls do this. A wimpad. Oh yes, perfect. I can acrobatics through to oblivion. There we go. Booyah! Nope, no leaf blade yet. Drowsy. Spirit Shackle. I think I'm probably... Uh, do I really need to heal? I don't think I do. Beat up. Glisspod. Tapu Coco. No! Alright. I think we're fine just going right in. Magneton with the Electrium Z, right? Oops. Yep. I'd say we're good. Nice. I don't need to battle that girl, I don't think. Let's do this. <laughs> His laptop right there. So many bugging EMZ crystals just in a freaking thing. Alright, let's take this guy out.
the music is so like Oh, the intro was just like really disjointed, but now it's the I feel like Galispot likes bug types. He should have a Butterfree. Yep, that's the stronger one. Let's do this. Take out that silly Galispot right now. Let's do this, Magneton. Who do I want to use for Ariados? I think Beware makes sense. Beware won't be able to do the most damage, but he's going to resist the hits like nothing else. Because it knows Sucker Punch, two Bug moves, and a, uh, and a Ghost move. All of which will do very little to beware. What's stronger, Stomping Tantrum or Ice Punch? 75. 75. They're both the same. I'll just use Ice Punch then, in case I happen to freeze it. <laughs> that would be epic. Yep. Beware is a physical tank. Still, yeah. All of its moves are not very effective or completely ineffective against Beware. And in addition to that, they're physical. So they do a quarter damage. I like Beware. It's terrifying, but he's nice to have on the team. <laughs> but I say. Alright, cool. Well, what's wrong over there? Maybe you. Maybe you just suck. Q. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, see ya, bro. Whatever. Dun 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 dun. Off the roof there. I guess I can just use that escape rope, can I? I don't really use them elsewhere. Save me a little bit of time walking through this building. Oh, wow. Well, that was the door it sent me to, because that was the last one I went through. That's kind of funny. Alright, Nani's gotta talk to me. We saved the little biting worm thing. Alright, let's... Oh, cool. Well, I wanna go to the desert. That's where we're gonna go before we continue on with this story. Get a capture there. And here comes the noise again. He just gives zero craps. <laughs> All right, see ya, fam. The next stop is the Ether House to start the first, like, Ether Paradise. What's, what's the, Siege? Is it really a Siege? What, what, what do we call that? I don't even know. Alright, well. Let's fly out of here and get to some chipper music. 
We're going to the desert. Getting at least one wonder trade this episode, because we had none last episode. Who do I want in front? I probably don't want Magnemite in front in the desert. Let's do Primarina. Yep, all right. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, wait, what? It's not gone? <laughs> but then I remembered. But then I saw Ghost Type Trout and I was like, we are gravy. Everything is fine. And here's our capture. Another sand dial. All right. Now this one has intimidate. Interessante. Please let the quick ball work. Oh, yes! Woo! It worked. I love quick balls. And I got no damage from the sandstorm. Cinco box. Alrighty! Now let's activate a repel. This place is kind of a maze, and I think I remember the way through it, but I'm not positive. Oh, I just used the repel. What am I doing? Oh, God! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> okay. I knew that was a dead end. I'm like 90% sure I need to go this way. Yes. I thought there was something in the middle of this. There is not. I believe I go this way again. Yes! Woo! I'm very happy with myself for remembering that. But we're gonna go to the ruins just so I can fly back there at a later time. <laughs> Literally the only reason. Oh my god! <laughs> No captures here, though. Nothing I can do here except run inside and turn around. Because... I am not strong. Yet. Well, I think it's a good time to just do the wonder trading right now. I don't really want to start that whole ether thing. Cause I don't know how long the cutscenes are gonna take, you know, that whole thing. All right. Let's pull this closer to the router. Last time I'll have to deal with this. There are perks to being at home. The internet is not one of them. The internet at Rice is spectacular. Upload a 30 minute video, HD, 720p HD, in like three minutes, if that. It's amazing. Shorter videos like Top 10s upload virtually instantly. It's it's awesome. Where'd that sand dial go? Oh, he's up here. Okay, that's right, because I took out the, uh, the Fletchling. All right, our only wonder trade of this episode. 
Hope it's something cool. The last one to trade at this house. What is it going to be? I do not know. I am very excited to see though. It's kind of like my King Julian voice from Madagascar. All hail is the New York Giants. New York Giants. I haven't seen it. I've only seen the first and second one one time each. I have not seen the third one. Penguins of Madagascar was an amusing movie. Not one of my favorites, but it was amusing. All right. Another Litten. <laughs> what is this? What is the universe trying to tell me? <laughs> you got rid of this Litten. We're sending you to. All right, well, you got the other Linton. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, that is all we can do for that Wonder Training. That Wonder Training went way faster than Wonder Training in the past. I still have like three minutes left. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Like, I don't, I don't wanna start that, I don't wanna start that uh, ether plot line yet. I wanna wait till it's a new episode to do that. Cause that's a weird thing to start at the very end. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna run in here and get everybody totally happy. And I will do training off camera to get Fletchender up to the rest. I'm probably gonna let it evolve off camera. I hope that doesn't upset you, but it's like. I mean, is it really that big of a deal? You guys have seen Fletcheners evolve into Talon Flames plenty of times. I mean, you saw it. Or did I actually skip it? I think I might have. I think I might have had to like train up a, a Fletchener to catch up to the rest of my team. My Gaia playthrough too. That's kind of funny. All right, this one, level one naive, level one sassy. They just appear to be people trying to help everybody get all three starters. Sariol and Ty. Let's see, is anybody Eevee trained? I highly doubt anybody's Pokemon are Eevee trained in the slightest. Okay, that one is a little bit. I'm actually curious. Let's look at the rest. Because I know you can't do the, um... I can't look to see their IVs, but I can see their EVs by pressing Y. In case you didn't know that, there's a tip for you. Well, the yellow, I believe, is base stats. Or, yeah, yellow, I believe, is base stats. Um, I think it's also modified by nature's. Base stats with nature modifiers. But orange is EVs. And if it's blue, it has completely maxed out all of its EVs. If a stat is sparkling, that stat is maxed. So you can see the ones with orange are ones that I've used a bit. Okay, that one, somebody used this one quite a bit. Not completely, but they used it quite a bit. Seems like that might have been a playthrough Pokemon that they just traded away. It's weird. Why does it not know? Why did they not teach a Shadow Bone? I know you have to use Heart Scale, but they should have done that. So many Gibbles and Abras. To Ganon. So, Kenan, you're very cool, but I, I want to use Talon Flame because we've got the fire and the flying. Well, guys. That is a that is a good name for that is a good nature for this little wimpod here. Oh, okay, I just noticed that is the the, the worst nature for uh, for Grimer. Because I'm pretty sure it's a physical attacker. Although I'm not positive, I'm pretty sure. I think defense... Oops! I think lowering defense, boosting uh, special attack is better. But I could be wrong. I haven't done a whole lot of uh, paying attention to... Wow, that's a terrible nature. Silly Rock Rough. Alright guys, well, 
second half of this episode wasn't particularly eventful, but I think it's best that I wait to start the tackling Ether Lily's kidnapping plotline until next episode, which is what I will do back at Rice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support all of this time over Christmas break and all that stuff. I am very much looking forward to finishing out my last semester of college and continuing to make YouTubes. So thank you guys so much for everything. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, answer the comment question down below, and that is all I have for now. So until next time, Pookie fans, gotta catch them all!